Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Todoist with Microsoft OneNote. First thing we have to do is uh, create an account at todoist.com uh, if you don't have one already. And once we do that, uh, we want to go to the top right corner of our screen to the MK sign or logo. In your case, there will be your initials. So let's go with integrations and discover integrations. I'm afraid we won't be able to find uh, one note yet uh, on Todoist straight away. So we will have to use something else. Let's go with automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are here, we want to go and click on the top side of our screen to integrations. And let's go to the bottom left part and see all categories. Now we have to pick from 200 and more apps, but we are already going only with Todoist. And on the counterpart, we want to start with OneNote. As you can see, it's still coming soon. Now, once we are here, uh, we can pick from popular integrations already pre-made for us by Automate. But if you won't be able to find any, you can just keep scrolling down and uh, you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you have to start with Todoist first. So let's go with the first one. And underneath the actions, you uh, should go with, uh, or you have to go with Microsoft OneNote. Like this. But as you can see, this integration is not uh, currently available. So we will have to wait uh, uh, till it's open for us, but definitely keep that in mind. Uh, if you want to make this happen, we have to go to zapier.com and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be su successful. Uh, once we are here at zapier.com, we also need to create an account here. So let's go to the top left corner and make a zap once we have our account ready. You can see you can name your zap, but we can do that for late, uh, later. Now, underneath the trigger, we want to start with Todoist like this. We have to set up a trigger event. Let's start with the first one. Now we have to log in with the account that we created at Todoist. We hit continue, set up a trigger. Uh, let's go with the Todoist tutorial, continue. And now we just have to, or we can test our trigger or jump straight to second action, which is one note. We choose an event, let's go with the first one, continue. And the last thing uh, we have to do is just assign sign into the one note and the integration is complete. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.